uh, was we, we came up with the idea to all wear black in solidarity with the other campuses um, across the country. Um, Tuesday, we did a silent protest and the during the lecture, the, not the lecture, the, during the speaker that came, and then today, Thursday, we did a larger demonstration in the cafeteria. And following that, we concluded it with this, the meeting with President Thane and all the faculty and any students that wanted to come. Were you happy with the turnout? I, I assume you were. Definitely. Um, yeah. Did it surprise you at all? It was yeah, yeah. Definitely. Was? Definitely. it was. You know, like our original location only had about 85 seats and we thought that would be alright. Okay. Yeah. So you, you out exceeded expectations. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit finally about the demands you've presented tonight. Can you sum them up? I know it's difficult. There are quite a few. Uh, but can you sum them up to an extent and tell me what you hope happens next? So to sum them all up, what we tried to do was to um, level the playing field and also allow for all the marginalized people on campus. We didn't just do it for race, we included um, uh, demands for people with disabilities, demands for people who are part of the LGBT community, um, people who are part of the religious minority groups on campus. We wanted to make sure all their voices were heard, make sure that all the things that they are lacking here on campus are acknowledged. And we tried to present them in a way that were reasonable, that can actually, that are, in our, that are practical, that can happen on campus. So every demand that we had, um, we didn't think was too, too extreme of a demand. Mm -hmm. um, thought they were pretty reasonable. And uh, we, I guess in hopes, we just hope that he follows through with his promises that he made in there and that he works on um, applying those demands to this campus.